Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend tarot reading session for you Sagittarius. This is also your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what's happening towards you guys. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This is for the Sagittarius friends out there. Let us see what's happening towards you. What can I get for Sagittarius please, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for your support. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, I invite you to also subscribe in our other channel. Uh, the name of the channel is Sagittarius Ascending. It is all about the Sagittarius energy, okay? Sun, Moon, and Venus. And we do send out new moon, full moon, and bonus readings. So if you want to be notified when this is available, I invite you to subscribe in our mailing list. And that can be done by the website. And that is me. Let us see what's happening towards you in the next 24 hours. What is the message for Sagittarius? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So you started up with the Hermit card. You've got the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, I'm hearing the word, I thought it was over, okay? Um, you could be reconnecting again with somebody or in the process of reconnecting, reconsidering. Um, there's a lot of vibe with the Hermit card that I thought it is over. I thought we were over, but here we go again. Six of Pentacles, okay? Um, it's, a, it's a very solid lead, a solid lead that, okay, it seems to be this is the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth time that we were trying this. So we make it, you know, like th there's an there's an urge to, well, in instead of breaking up, why can't we just, you know, make it work? Six of Pentacles, a Queen of Pentacles, because we've been, I mean, here we go again. Don't tell me we're going to break up or separate or disconnect. Okay, someone is wanting to stay longer, okay? Someone is wanting to stay longer in reconciliation and doing it all over again, okay? Okay, all right, yeah, okay. Someone is not over. At least one of you is like looking into reconsidering to make a business partnership, make a proposal, reconnect. Yeah. There's a lot of energy in here, Sagittarius, where, where you might come across this weekend or probably in the last two weeks of Feb that, come on, let's make it happen. Let's try. Ooh, yeah, look at that. I know there's conflict. I know. You know that there's conflict in our situation, but hey, let's try. You know, I'm, he I'm really hearing the word. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to stand. <clears throat> I'm going to fight for you. <clears throat> Okay, let's clarify the Five of Wands and the Judgment card. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to end the third party. I'm going to fight for you. <clears throat> Last one. Yeah, I feel like you're challenging this person, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Your expectation is high. I mean, in this reading, someone is going to say, okay, let's reconnect. Let's start all over again. I think you would listen. But I don't think you would believe them right away. Um, <clears throat> you know, in order for you to believe this person is they really need a solid proof. Seven of Swords. Like a clean slate. Yeah. I feel like you would be open, but not stupid. In this reading, as someone who's reconciling, reconsidering, you know, doing it all over again. And it's not fantasy, you know. It's, it's offering you something. This is the reality. While I'm still processing it, this is what we should do. Or this is how it should be set up. Or this is how things right now as I process it. And you're like, yeah, you're open. But you're not stupid to totally believe them unless they, they give you the solid proof. So I feel like you're not fully committed to believe. But somehow... You you kind of feel that it might be correct. Yeah, that of card. Sorry, it could be Scorpio. Yeah, Eight of Cups. I think you would experiment. Something in here 
Sagittarius that you would experiment. I mean, you know, the death card. It's an ending and a beginning. Something will end to begin with something. There's five of cups, eight of cups in here. There's a, there's a lot of wanting to start all over again, reconnect, but not recycle. You know, the death card, like, we should not pick up where we left off. Is if, if we are meant to be a partnership, a business partnership, a lover, or re reconciliation, we should start all over again. We should have boundary because it's frustrating. So for some of you, you would explore. They, they're offering you something. And I feel like you will explore it, but you, you have your guard up. So there's something in here that you will observe and you will experiment. Yes, and I feel like that's the, you know, the last two weeks of Feb for you. It's a lover. It's an ex. Okay, the next reading is you've got the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so, for some of you guys, um, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, this is a closure... You know, for some of you guys, there's a hidden message that something is closing off. Like you're for once. Okay. All right. So I feel like there's a cycle that is closing, you know, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, but you don't know. You will just be surprised. I feel like Sagittarius, something is going to happen. And it's not you, but you're involved into this. Like you're one of the inspiration, like... You're one of the person that inspires them to do this. So it could be a friend who you have been... It could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be someone, but it's connected to you and you're one of the inspiration. Like, they had the guts to do this, to take a risk, to do whatever they want because of you. And you will know. Like, you will get the news later on when they have done it. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So someone is going to take a risk. Someone is going to do... Someone is going to take a risk. Someone is going to do something out of the box. Uh, out of their comfort zone. Because you inspired them. Or there's something that you say. Or you participated. And they did that. And you're not aware. You're, you, you did not expect that they will actually do it now. Or soon. But they did. And... Here you go. They will tell you, okay, I've done it. You know, hey, Sagittarius, you know how you tell me this and that? You know how, how you have been challenging me, this and that, you know? To, it came to a point that you, you've been telling this person off that you should do it. You know, like you're challenging them. It's possible. The limitation is just you. And for some reason, you stop reminding them or telling them about you should do it. And when you stop doing that, they did. So... You'll be the last person to know and you'll be very surprised. Okay, they did. You know, it could be, for example, okay, they, they did leave the workplace or the the home for another person. So something tells me, Knight of Swords, it's going to be a very fast approaching. They will do it very fast. You know, they will do it very fast that, yeah, it's unexpected. Like you're not prepared or you're not prepared and it is an you're not prepared when they finally say to you that I've done it like you're surprised and unexpectedly un unexpecting it so yeah so unexpecting yeah that this person knight of swords they did something that you advised them or you encouraged them or you inspired them and they did it didn't happen in the timeline, in the time frame that you want. But when they were ready, they, you know, Knight of Swords, they swoop, like swipe. And there you go. The Four of Wands Lover's Card. So, yes, they feel very empowered that they were able to do it. And you inspired them. Hmm. It's, it's getting, I'm getting like lovers in a very, like a friend who, it is an energy in Sagittarius where, they're in their comfort zone and they're scared to come out of their comfort zone. That There is a fear bound with this person. And you've been telling them, no, you can do it. This is how you do it. You inspire them. For some of you, at some point, you, you tell them off, you criticize them, and then you surrender telling them off. 
because at the end of the day that's their life and then little did you know that they're already doing the works and you got the notification or the message that hey i've done what you said i'm on my way yeah what was that there was a movie that i'm on my way what's that j-lo song i'm on my way we we watched the premiere it's a good one it's a good song so they're on their way out of that comfort zone because of you and um okay the The third reading is you've got the Hierophant card in reverse. This is a Taurus, Six of Cups, a Queen of Swords. Um, there's a person who... You know someone who has to work for somebody who they don't like. Hmm. Yeah, four of pentacles, three of pentacles. You know, okay, the situation is that you're connected with somebody, with someone who you know they don't like to work with this person or they, they don't like to work with this person or they don't want to be with this person or they don't want to be in this place. You know that. Um, they, they need to be there even though they don't like to be there. Okay, and three of pentacles, like four, they're they're keeping it and they're staying there for the meantime. Okay, like this person is trapped, you know, like this person is finding a way out with the situation. Right now they're feeling trapped, but there's a victory, six of wands, victory. Yeah, ooh, good. Yeah, right now this person is still weak. Like their spirit is strong that I'm going to get out of here. They're, they're trapped. You know, there's a person who you know, they're quite trapped. Like they feel not hopeless, but they feel, um, they feel entrapment or stagnant or it feels like a stalemate. Like they're inside a room where... There's no door, only a window. And this person is weak to jump into the window to get out, you know. But six of wands, ten of, there's six and ten. It's getting there, you know. It might take them so long, you know, because maybe not a lot of courage. Oh, okay. You also inspire them. So if you don't believe that they can do it, then they will not be able to do it. So part of the strength that this person have is coming from you so if you believe if you're one of the if, if you if you believe that they can do it then they can do it so you know if they this person needs a lot of encouragement and there's like because this person is connected with you you play a vital role for this person to make it happen to make it work yeah you know if you really if you want this person to do what they're supposed to do um Give them all of the encouragement in, instead of the pessimism. Because your words, your presence, you being there will give them courage, inspiration to jump into the window. You know, yeah, to take a risk. They want you to be present all the time along with the journey. Okay. Now, the third reading is that you've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Justice card. I feel like this is you, Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. You are like, I, I can, you know, it's not fair to talk to you or to deal with you or to do business with you. There's something in here that you, Queen of Wands, you're not, you're not being so friendly or welcoming or accepting because it's not fair to be welcoming, accepting with this person, with this situation yet. Something tells me that if you are quiet, aloof, or you have limitation on what you give towards this person, because that's fair enough for you, okay? High Priestess. Like, you want to work with them, you want to be with them, you want to connect with them, but you've got limit. Because you're, you're reserving, like, Justice card, fair enough that I act like this. So Because you don't want the person to be complacent. And you want to you don't want to send the wrong signal. Yeah, you're not totally rejecting them. You know, I'm getting like 
you're not totally rejecting them, but you're not totally accepting them. Yeah. They have a plan. Whoever this person is, they know what they stand. They know, this person knows uh, where they stand in your life, in your business, in your friendship, in your work relationship, or in your life. So they know where they're they know where they stand and if you are limited to know if you're limited to them they understand that page of pentacles the two of wands what is the knight of wands oh they would like to grow you know this person sagittarius they would like to grow your trust even though you're limited to them they would like to grow your trust like they're contented if you're giving them something if it's limited if it's a limited support, limited attention, limited love, it's okay. They will accept that because what they're giving is broken. So they need to fix whatever it is within them or whatever they offer you. But they're going to grow it, Knight of Wands. Like this person's like, yeah, I'm going to grow it to be an Ace of Wands so that I'm worthy. I get the full access to you, Sagittarius. Someone is hopeful. That this limitation, that, that you know, there's a boundary on what you give. And that's okay with them. They understand that right now you've got to limit what you give. And they will work hard, Knight of Wands, to give you an Ace of Wands. So that there is no limit. Mm. Yeah, surely. Surely someone is going to work hard to impress you. To, to get you fully on board or fully interested. Okay? So this is what I have for you. Sagittarius, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for tuning in. And um, thank you for your support. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.